shame on polystachium, the paddle grass, tends to form a rather impenetrable thicket to which basically only other invasives can come up. One of the problems as it gets older is that down underneath are all dead branches. You'll get fires that actually burn. I've seen this. A fire will actually burn underneath the green grass on top and be burning only in the through these lower layers that build up of dead grass. So they're a real fire hazard. Uh, this is not not a particularly well developed patch. This is only moderate in age. But they'll eventually get deep enough that you're wading up to your chest in it. And it generally uh, crowds out many other things. I mean, we've got some macaranga that can come up through it. Uh, some of the melastomes can compete with it. There are a spathic Spathic gladis, uh, tri trilobata, the trailing daisy. You will see some Dichonopterus linearis in here occasionally, Hyptis. Uh, but generally it forms this sea of grass that's prone to fire and burning, uh, especially if you have any kind of dry spells. And so that, that can be a real problem. But it's, it's, for us it's a very aggressive invasive. It does provide food for the cattle but we have far more of this grass than we do cattle and so it just forms generally this sea that you have to wade through uh, to move pretty much anywhere off, off of some main trail. Uh, now it, it's not shade tolerant so it won't grow in the forest but out here in the uh, in a sunny patch it will just take over and tend to dominate the uh, landscape.